ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, I would like to welcome you all to today's seminar on 50 years of distortions in world food markets. Uh, my name is Regina Birner and I'm leading IFPRI's research program on governance for agriculture and rural development. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been known for a long time that agriculture is key for poverty reduction and economic development. And the current food crisis dramatically underlines that point. And yet historically, many developing countries rather than using agriculture for development, have discriminated against that sector. That was the conclusion of several important studies in the 1980s and 1990s. Now, more than 15 years later, the question arises whether the situation still exists, or whether countries have actually managed to make better choices in agricultural policies. Which countries have succeeded and why? And which countries have failed and why? We are pr very privileged at IFPRI today that we have one of the most outstanding scholars on that issue to answer these questions, Professor Kim Anderson. Let me introduce Kim, even though he really doesn't need an introduction. Kim Anderson is George Gollin Professor of Economics and Foundation Executive Director of the Center of International Studies at the University of Adelaide in Australia. And he has been associated there since 1984. Kim did his undergraduate studies at the University of New England in Armadale, his master's at the University of Adelaide, and his doctoral studies at the University of Chicago and Stanford University. He's also a research fellow with Europe's London-based Center for Economic Policy Research and a fellow of the Academy of the Social Sciences in Australia, the American Agricultural Economics Association, and the Australian Agricultural and Resource Economics Society. During 2004 to 2007, he was on extended leave at the World Bank's Development Research Group in Washington, D.C. as the lead economist for trade policy. Kim's research interests and publications cover a wide range of areas, international trade and development, agricultural economics, and environmental and resource economics. He has published more than 25 books and some 250 journal articles and book chapters including those on agricultural biotechnology. He has been a consultant to numerous national and international bureaucracies, business organizations, and corporations. And Kim has also been the first economist to serve on a series of dispute settlement panels at the World Trade Organization. In 1996 to 97, he served as a panel advising the ministers for foreign affairs and trade in the preparation of Australia's first white paper on foreign and trade policy.